The coronavirus is a virus that causes the common cold. It's a different type of virus. Uh, it started in China and it's been spreading throughout the community there and it's spread to some other countries. At Riverside University, we really understand that there's a big difference between panic and preparation. And so we're doing a lot of preparation to support our community. So, but we also understand that people are concerned what they're seeing on the news uh, and what's being reflected in some communities. The integration of our system is an incredible model. The fact that we have the emergency management department uh, and their resources and their support on the county end, uh, the Department of Public Health and the surveillance that they're doing and the support that they're providing not only to Riverside University but to all the hospitals. Throughout our facility and in our clinics, we have screening procedures in place uh, to really be able to create separate pathways uh, for people that might have an infectious disease that would be communicable. At this point in time, we're doing a lot of preparation. I think our staff, our local community, you're gonna to start to see some movement of our mobile health clinic and some other resources that we're gonna bring onto the campus just in preparation for whatever might be coming um, because we wanna be as prepared as we can be for our communities. In order to protect both our patients in the hospital and our visitors, uh, we have some policies in place uh, to try and put some restrictions on who's coming and going from the hospital and the different units. The hospital has worked very closely with our community partners, with public health. During this event, we've made sure that we know exactly what organism it is, how it's spread, making sure that all staff have the appropriate fitting N95 respirator mask. They get fitted for it every year. Um, there's different size masks, and if you need it for airborne, then you need to make sure it has a nice tight seal so that nothing can get in. There's a gown, there's gloves, there's masks, there's eye shields. That's the basics of protective equipment. The number one most important though is good hand washing. That's the number one thing that every one of us can do to protect ourselves and others, is constantly washing our hands. We really encourage people to wash your hands. It's astounding if, if you see pictures between what someone's hands look like under certain imaging uh, before and after they wash their hands, the amount of virus and bacteria that you can carry uh, throughout just touching things in the community is pretty incredible. So, Hand washing is uh, probably far more beneficial than most people ever think about in terms of protecting themselves and the people around them from getting sick. I understand why with the outbreak in China and what we're seeing in some other areas that people are concerned. You have this new virus, uh, it appears to be very contagious and it's spreading very quickly. Um, but as we're learning more and we're developing more procedures and the planning that our community is putting in place, we are gonna get through this and we're gonna grow together our community is going to rise up in their preparation. We're going to see different agencies from the federal partners to local and community, public and private partners, really rising to this level. You see healthcare entities sharing information, we're sharing best practices, we're meeting regularly, and we're going to rise through this, uh, we're going to get through it together, and we're going to move forward. Understandably, people are afraid. This is a novel virus, we're learning as we go. Even though there may be some anxiety, Staff should rest assured that we are really doing everything we can to keep them safe and keep them able to take care of the community that really is relying on us.